What is going on guys, Chris Rudnick here, and as you guys know by all the videos you guys have been watching, I am currently in a wheelchair, I got the messed up knee, I got the shattered leg, and currently I can't move and I'm kind of stuck in Connecticut because I can't take a plane, I'm definitely not having someone drive me there because that would be insanely painful. So I'm pretty much stuck in my mom's kitchen. Anyways, right as I was getting hurt, I had Marcus take a little journey to get me a Miata. Now Jack sent me this Miata on Facebook and I'm like, okay, I can, I can mess around with this a little bit. Maybe it can be a quick little flip. Long story short, Marcus ended up getting it for me. I am a little sad that I wasn't there because um, it is a bit more of a project than I was anticipating and if I was there, I definitely could have got it for a lot cheaper. But at the end of the day, it's okay. Regardless, we're still gonna be able to make more money off of it. It's just a matter of when at this point. So, I'd like to introduce to you my 1990 whatever Mazda Miata. There she is. Yeah, I know, shocker, right? At the end of the day, I like to stick to this chassis because I know so much about it and everything, and even from 1,200 miles away, I still think that we're gonna be able to make a dollar, and I wanna bring you guys along this journey just to show you that anything is possible as long as you have the right team or the right sort of knowledge, and nobody's doing free labor. I'm paying Jordan, the mechanic, to do this and everything, and I still plan on buying parts for this car and still end up making a profit. But right now, Jordan, Matt, John, Alex, they're gonna tell you really kind of what's wrong with the car. Before we show you that, I'd like to show you today's sponsor. Truly helps out a lot because, yeah, I can't do much. Here we go. Is your diet perfect? Well, if you watch my channel every day, you already know that my diet is far from perfect and being trapped in this hospital for the past two weeks has really been hard to maintain a healthy diet. But lucky for all of us with today's sponsor, Ritual, we can get or keep our bodies on track with these vitamins right here. Now, right off rip, I immediately, when I opened this box, I wanted to see what was in this and it, it's got a lot of good stuff such as vitamin A. It also has on here vitamin C and it's got a lot of other nutrients that I kind of can't pronounce but honestly after doing some research about this company I really like what they're about and I really truly do stand behind this product the road to a healthier life starts here no water no problem taking seven pills a day anyways now this multivitamin it's not gonna make you nauseous it's not gonna make you feel weird it's literally just a vitamin to keep all your organs and things on track and now ritual only costs one dollar a day to have ten I'm trying to express the Number 10, nutrients your body needs delivered to your doorstep. You don't have to go to a store, you don't have to go anywhere, you just go on the website and it will be delivered directly to your house. 2020, that's the way to go at this point. There's no strings attached, there's no extra charges, there's, no, there's nothing sketchy about this. We're just trying to keep you healthy, that's all. Now with this code right here, Ritual is offering you 10% off the first three months, so I highly suggest you step on this right now. And I truly believe if you haven't taken a multivitamin ever or in a long time, if you order this, you're truly just gonna feel better. And I wanna thank Ritual one more time for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with the video. I would like to thank Ritual one more time for sponsoring this video, and let's get on. So far, first thing I see here is a very dull, clear coat, but that might buff out. With a lot of skill from Alex. There's a little bit of a bump and some traded paint. There's the rear quarter panel. No rust. It just seems a little bit of muck in there, but that can lead to rust. We gotta clean that out. More damage from the sun. That's Florida stuff. Blinkers. Like a little took bit. a hit. Yeah, it's probably backed into something. And that needs a new one. That headlight's a little cracked and it looks like it has nightshades on it. There's our boy. Other rear quarter panel looks really nice. Doesn't seem to be any rust. Okay, we got a little bit of dirt on the top. We That's easy Alex to fix. We got our boy here. All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, welcome back to another video on this channel. Uh, you probably already guys made an introduction, but right now, John, uh, Jordan, and Matt are looking at the red Miata. No, overall, ugly tan interior. You got, yeah, door cars are beat up, seats are beat up. I mean, the shift knob's nice. Dual DIN radio. Just kind of. Does it? Yeah. Surprise. Um, overall interior is not bad. The headliner is definitely, I don't think it's an OEM one. You know, you have all this stuff. So it's definitely a replacement top. You have the nice style bar that's in there. It, overall, it's uh, not a terrible interior. Uh, it needs a lot of love. Um, the tombstone is actually in great shape. Seat looks like it has leprosy for those uh, Betty, what was it, Betty Boom? 
Betty Boop. Oh, Betty Boop. You know, we'll sell that on eBay. I'll get Chris to sign it, so that'll be a million dollars. A condom, bro. Hell yeah. That is it's, it's unused. Disgusting. It's it's unused. That's fresh. Here you go, Alex. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna use, I'm, I'm gonna use it for later. <laughs> Let me get that right here. Whoa. There's but, a couple uh, bucks in here. I mean, it's a little bit of change. Oh, strip stud. Overall, I'm at for what the car is worth. I mean, it's definitely not in terrible shape. It needs a lot of love. I mean, if Chris wants me to, I could try to do something for the paint. I can't promise anything, but I mean, a lot of decent parts that you know we could part out. So overall, it's not a terrible car. It just needs love. Like I said, I could probably show some love. Motor just needs to get swapped. And overall, it's a nice. It'll be a nice running, decently clean Miata again. So stay tuned for that, boys. As you guys can see, I kind of got myself into an absolute nightmare. This thing is definitely a junker right now. I was unaware that it had a blown engine when I bought it. Obviously, I wasn't there and everything. And it had a hole um, like through the oil pan and all that stuff, which I definitely would have looked at if I was there. But... Honestly, I still paid sub $1,000 for this car. I don't want to give away what I paid for it yet. That's not the fun of this. We want to see how much we make, and I don't want you to critique me on everything. But anyways, we already have a new engine. We already have all of that stuff, so like, I'm not counting any of that because I've had it sitting in my shop for so long. Cooper's in the back making weird faces and stuff. Give you a little brief summary. As you can see, the door cards are shot. The steering wheel is absolutely AIDS. This exhaust, I have no idea what's even happening and it's just ridiculous. The only thing we have going for us with this chassis is the rocker panels are clean. The quarter panels are clean. The car is overall clean. We are going to have to touch up in the engine bay just a tiny bit because you can see that it did rust out just a little bit, probably from the master cylinder or the clutch master cylinder leaking, but nothing like some scotch bright and some red spray paint can't fix. What are you doing? Not too concerned with that. As long as it's not leaking now, it's not too big of a deal. And as you can see, we do have to fix that little headlight issue. But, hey, at least they work. Like I said, the chassis is clean. That's great. But we have the poisonous AIDS interior, which if you touch it, you might get tetanus. We have the blown engine with a rod going out, the oil pan, or what, what, whatever happened. I don't even know. Regardless, we have so many parts to make this thing good that I, I seriously think we could make at least $500 at the end of the day. Like, I'm sure I'm gonna have to buy a clutch. I'm sure I'm gonna have to buy some gaskets and like some miscellaneous stuff, but uh, it's gonna have working AC. It's gonna have a reliable engine. It's not gonna be leaking. It's not gonna be anything like that. So I'm pretty confident. I'm definitely gonna spend a little money on the interior. Like we're gonna get a new steering wheel. We're gonna get some new door cards. We're definitely gonna get some new seats and all of that stuff. So definitely stay tuned and we're gonna get this thing on the lift right now and start working. Miata is inside the shop now. We have it on the lift, hood is off. Made sure the car won't fall off even when the motor is out. And uh, Jordan, what's the steps from here? Pull the motor. Put motor in these, rip it out, and <laughs> slam it in. Draw yes, sir. So, I mean, on on this channel, uh, as you guys know, we we pulled out a few Miata motors before, and it would literally take hour or so, depending on how terrible the motor is. Because like with the turbo one, it's a lot harder, just because you have all that stuff in the way, and you got to take the downpipe off, the turbo out, you know, the yeah. turbo manifold. But now this, you know, NA shouldn't be as difficult because you literally. Just unbolt the manifold uh, off and leave it there and then um, just take the wiring out and obviously we're dropping the transmission with it because it makes it a lot easier should be quick painless john will set it up for a time lapse and get this thing going finish cleaning the motor um as good as it's it should need to get um but we just uh transferred all the uh fluids into a tank and that's what came off the motor yeah all this gunk sludge you know, not not it's exciting tight. stuff but the motor was dirty it is clean now cleaner i think it's ready to drop in the car no problem you just gotta swap over the rest of the accessories and bolt it to the subframe make sure everything's nice and we need a valve cover gasket for this tight because nothing is yeah no, like nothing nothing's connected on this motor it's just kind of resting on there no big deal. 
probably got a little bit in there, no big deal. Yeah. Right now, we got everything up top basically un uh, undone. We just, when we start lowering the, the subframe, we gotta make sure, you know, everything is actually unplugged. Right now, we just gotta uh, basically separate the power plant flame from the transmission just with the pry bar and it'll separate. And then we have a few bolts left underneath to take off, like subframe, and then take off the, the top hats from the sock suspension. And then it should be ready to come down unless there's something else. There's gonna be something. Yeah, there's, so there's, always, there's always gonna be something. Can't avoid it. Chris knows it's like the back of his hand. Uh, I've done it a few times with him and I've done it once myself with my old Miata. And uh, eh, it's pretty easy. These these motor drops and or motor pulls are pretty simple. We've not done this before. Never. Well, that's why you got two people that have done it before that are here. Sensei. Mr. Mr. And Marcus then one Parks. guy, yeah. one guy actually doing it all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Except for that little bit in the beginning. Yeah, hey, I did drill that stud for 40 minutes. Well, did you show him? Oh yeah, that yeah. that exists now. Yeah, because there's wheel locks and people are dumb and you put wheel locks in your car in Miami for stock wheels for some reason, but yeah. what can you do? So here we are once again. It is very late. Things are moving. Oh, the steering rack. I never got that out. Oh, okay. So we'll be here for another minute. Back up you go. All right, here we are for the final time trying to lower this engine. It is pretty late in the night. And oh man, what a day, what a day. That was yesterday, now it's today. Oh my goodness. Uh, what's this cable here that's holding on? Huh? This right here. That's the AC line. It's good. I'm washing from the top. Yeah, but it's tensed up, dude. Some juice is flowing, but yes, that the uh, hose. Here. Oh, give me a vice grip. Well, we're almost there, as you can see. All right, it's the next night, not day, next night. Um, last night we got the motor dropped down, but I had to disconnect the rest of the harness from it and a few other things that we forgot about. The slave cylinder being one of them, I kind of broke that, but you're know, like everything should be disconnected, and everything was sort of disconnected except for. This ground strap, which I fixed already. Sorry. Bless you. Which I fixed already. Um, and yeah, the slave cylinder, everything else was disconnected, thankfully. So right now I got all the bell housing bolts out and we're just trying to rip this transmission off, which I guess we can push this, push it this way. My only concern right now is that when we do get this transmission off, the engine is just gonna need over. Oh, um, why don't Matt Let's put and some I... wooden blocks on the front. Cool. Yep, there go Menards. Eating forward? Right on the nuts. <laughs> Jordan's not a man who waits, he's a man who does. Whatever. Who cares about this motor yeah. anyway? Junk. We get the clutch off, we get all the accessories off, the intake, and just leave the bare block. And consider it sent, right? And just swap over the accessories to the other motor, the blue oh, top. This is a truck carried motor anyways. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's got the yellow paint. Oh, oh, there's a, oh, oh no. Oh my god. That's not how the dipstick tube is supposed to be attached. Um, yeah, let's see yeah. in there. Oh man, is that the rod? Yes. Yep. Hey, get some light on there. Let me see. Oh, there goes my nut. Are you nutted? Yeah, that's that's where the rod. Oh man. Sure hope this motor mount's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the, we found the rod. We can't find the piston yet, but I'm sure it's somewhere in there. And, oh man, that's some carnage. It doesn't make any weird noises when you turn it over. It just doesn't start. <laughs> Ran when parked, right? That's the tagline for this build. Hey look, a tiny screw. That's kind of cool. I guess we'll continue on and start swapping bits. Uh, Chris Amazing. wants to keep this for bolts and stuff when he loses them on his cars or yeah this is <laughs> this is basically ace hardware for chris because chris doesn't go to ace hardware he goes straight well, to the why, auto motors why, why, why spend over 400 dollars on little nuts and stuff when you just buy a blown motor and a car for <laughs> the same price i guess all right well we'll continue on you'll see more progress as we get it Maybe that Oh, I just took a dump. <laughs> what do we have here? That's the little thing in the bathroom, baby. The other half of the piston. <laughs> Jesus, man. She shits out pistons? No. Big logs in the bucket. But that gives us focus. 
It's all in focus. It's an infinity focus. We'll see if it, uh... Dude, minor tweak, dude. Thank God, none of that got into the pickup. <laughs> Healthy. Would have killed the motor. Dude, that piston is... That connecting rod is just gone. The wrist, <laughs> dude, the connecting rod. Look at the, the wrist piston. The wrist pin's halfway out of it. We got both, so... I don't know what the failure was. Um... Send that piston for round two. Knock. Rod knock, dude. So As is tradition. Neither of these loosened up because they're bent, so they stayed in there. So that just flew out. Um, piston exploded. Piston. Well, we don't have much of the piston here, but that had to have been what happened. But why would the piston explode like that? Are the bolts bent? Yeah. The bolts are bent, but they're yeah, not so they broken. In. Oh. <laughs> you can pull it out? There's still the other half of the piston. Hey. That's going on the wall. It's hot on the crank. Can I get him a, get him a, you want this rag? So you can pick up a tool? Ooh, Avengers, new five gum. Someone left that here for me. Whoever this is, thank you for your gum. There we go. That's two engines, two dudes, and one fucked up car. Do you want to put, put this on the subframe tonight, or? No, we have to clean that. Oh. We're not making this janky. This is going to be a nice car. Oh nice yeah, car. I forgot, yeah, we have to clean up the entire thing. I guess we'll time lapse that and see how it goes. This one has a completely different setup. What do you mean it's got a completely different setup? It's exactly the same. It's the same motor. This whole... It's exactly the same. No, it's, it's, it's the same motor. This one's just blue, Matt. I know it's throwing you off, but you know. This one's just Good. missing all the brackets and everything. The one lucky person, you're going to be receiving this piece of the motor. Um, it is the dipstick tube. We're going to clean it. We're gonna, definitely going to clean it and send it to you as a prize for being a special person. And your and his phone, he has John as John designer. He has me as Jordan mechanic. What does he have you as Matt retard? No, <laughs> funny. He has me as uh, Matt Call of Duty. <laughs> Matt Call of Duty. <laughs> that's we, even worse. Because we met playing, and we uh, that's the first thing we did was play video games together. Um, but yeah, back at the garage uh, with the Jordan red is Miata. now on minute ten of this, and it is not working as we can see. I mean, it, it's getting black off. Just He's lying to himself. I am lying to myself. It's getting black bit. off. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to get. Yeah, I mean, what color is that? Is that is that yellow? Is that blue? Is that red? No, it's, it's, it's black. Charburger black. Charburger black. Charburger black. black. It was white. Um, but yeah, we're degreasing this. Ah, uh, thank you. We're degreasing this motor because that's the motor that came out. That's the motor that's going in, and Chris wants this to be a verbatim, legit engine swap instead of just some trash shit that gets thrown together just to, to sell. He actually wants a good car. He doesn't like selling garbage. So this is a flip car that this is going in. Woo. Flip car. Uh, he's just trying to. Well, the man's in the hospital. I'm assuming yeah, any any sort of money is a benefit right now but yeah he wants us to make this look pretty good so we're degreasing well jordan's degreasing the motor and then probably going to degrease the transmission make sure you get an extra degreaser in these open uh you got it valves or exhaust ports <laughs> right, and we'll get back to you when we're probably putting the motor in okay so as you guys can tell from this video um we kind of got ourselves into a little bit of a project like i said definitely a much bigger project that i personally wanted to get into especially because i'm not there but um, they seem to have everything under control and everything. They dropped the subframe and stuff. And the only thing that we really need to get is a new clutch, which we already got. We need an intake manifold gasket, exhaust manifold gasket, oil pan gasket, and valve cover gasket, which we already took care of. Big shout out to Treasure Coast for always having that stuff in stock. I want this Miata to be nice. I want it to be a reliable Miata and not just a piece of junk. And I think Jordan, Matt, and John, they're going to make that happen. And I'm very excited for it. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. And yes, Matt. The, the blue one six and the blown one six, they are the same engine. <laughs> I just felt the need to leave it in because I thought it was funny. Sorry, Matt. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. I am going to be making another car purchase, but this one's going to be in Connecticut and something that I just kind of need to get around now. Um, that should be happening later on this week. I'm pretty excited for it and we will see you tomorrow. Right, cool. High five the camera. Oh, real high five the camera. And we're out. Peace. On my mind when I wake up. Money on my mind when I go to sleep. Stand on my grind, I don't ever sleep. Oh, winning.